What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to keyframe in After Effects. Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request this tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now as you'll see I have After Effects opened already and it's actually a video of Happy Wheels. Now, what you can't see is Irresponsible Dad, but you can see it in the timeline. He's currently off a set, I've dragged him off the stage, but what we're going to do is make him ride across. So to do this, you'll need to come to the layer that you want to be keyframed, and of course we want Irresponsible Dad. So we're going to press the arrow here, and we're also going to press the arrow here, and this will then bring us up the keyframing. So this is everything we can keyframe. The anchor point, the position, the scale, the rotation, opacity. Now I've changed my mind what I'm going to do. What I'm going to make him do is come across on the screen, he's going to get bigger, and he's also going to fade away. So before we do anything else, we need to lay down a keyframe of the original thing, so it's actually sitting back here. So we're messing with the opacity, so we're going to press this button right here. We're also messing with the scale, so we're going to press this button. And we're messing with the position, so we're going to press this button. Now we're going to come across to where we want this stuff to happen. So I'm going to say there. So at this point, what we're going to do is mess with his position. So you can see, you can do it like this or you can just drag it on, but I'm going to do it this way because I prefer it. And you'll see this arrow right here is going to tell us the animation or the keyframing we're doing. So I'm going to make him stop right there. And now this is where I want the scale to come up as well. It's a bit too much. There we go, we need to position him a bit more going up like that. And then... At this point as well, I also want his opacity to start fading away. So I'm not going to completely fade him away, but I'm going to do it to about 25%. So I'll just double click here and type it myself. As you'll see, his opacity has gone down to 25%. Now when doing each of them, you'll see you'll get these diamond shapes. And these are the keyframes we have just created. So for example, you can see the opacity is at 25%. If I click back to the first keyframe we made, the opacity is now at 100% and the scale and position is back to normal. So if we play this through, you can see he's coming onto the screen, he's getting bigger and bigger and he's also fading away at the same time. Just like that. And of course we can make him completely fade away if we just put it all the way to zero. And if we watch this again, he's coming on and he's already fading much quicker. And he's going to completely disappear right now. And that is how simple it is to keyframe in After Effects. Now one thing you can add because we are animating and the character is moving. You'll see there is a bit of a blur when he's doing it. So we need to come here and where it says enable motion blur, check it. And this will reduce the blur you are seeing when it moves. So again, one more time. Just like that, it looks much more clean. I hope this video has helped you, and like I said at the start of the video, if you would like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated when you post and what we're posting. Also, be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, where I post four times a week. And finally, check out my Snapchat, which is what I do throughout my day. CST Casual Savage here, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.